Hello and welcome back. This video is not financial advice. In today's video, we are back at it talking about Pika Moon. This project has been crushing it so far with their development, and this week they did release their newest trailer. Now, if that trailer doesn't get you excited about Pika Moon, I'm not sure what will. The team behind this project has been doing an incredible job. I have personally been covering this project since the beginning, and I've been quite impressed with the amount of development that they've been able to do in a relatively short amount of time. The beta version of their game is available for you to try out on iOS and Android. All in all, Pika Moon gets a huge thumbs up from me. Now, if this is your very first time hearing about Pika Moon, I would highly recommend you to check out my previous videos. Aside from their game, Pika Moon, of course, has their Pika token, and this is what drives the play to earn dynamic. The Pika token is on the Ethereum blockchain, and so far they are listed on Bitmart, Bitget, and MEXE. So, in today's video, we're going to be checking out all the latest news and announcements regarding Pika Moon and their Pika token. We're going to be talking about staking and a whole lot more. So, without further ado, let's hop into the video and see what Pika Moon has going on. Firstly, hopping over to their website, here we have Pika Moon and their Pika token. Again, as I mentioned in the intro, this is available on Uniswap or Bitmart, Bitget, and MEXC. Pika token will be utilized to drive Pika Moon's play to earn model. This is going to offer players a tangible way to earn, spend, and invest within the game's economy. Within Pika Moon, there's going to be an expansive, dynamic world offering rich play to earn adventures and player driven creativity. There's also going to be play to earn mechanisms within the game and there will be NFTs that will gain you special access to arenas and certain experiences. Also, all of the characters that you will be using within the game will be NFTs as well, each one having varying different categories that they fit into, fire, water, rock, etc. The Pika Moon team are developing something truly unique. There aren't a lot of projects out there that are this dedicated and able to deliver such a product. So if you would like to try out the Pika Moon beta, you can do so on iOS and Android. Head over here to play beta and then you'll head over to play now. There is an entire story behind the Pika Moon universe. So if you are somebody who wants to read through this, go ahead and scroll down from the play beta section. You can also read more about the different factions as well as different collectibles that you can expect within the game. Aside from the game beta being available for you to check out, the Pika Hub is now live. So if you are someone who is invested in this project, you can now stake your tokens to earn yourself rewards as time goes on. So start earning rewards. Pika staking is live now and you have different options, three months, six months, 12 months, each one having a varying level of APY. It's really good to see the Pika staking options live now, especially for any of you long-term 
holders out there, this is going to be a great way for you to increase your Pika bag. For the Pika token, all the pre-sale claims have been completed, so we've been seeing a stabilization in the price. As you can see over the course of the last week, for the most part, the price has stayed near a tenth of a penny. And when we look at the month chart, we can see a lot of selling going on. This was mostly in part due to people getting large pre-sale allocations and selling off their profits. Over the course of the last week though, the price has been stable. So this could be the bottom launching point for the Pika token. Last thing to note is that with the Pika token, there's not a ton of VCs with this project. So that is actually a very good thing. Community driven, all in all, looking good. In other Pika Moon news, we got more information about the Pika Moon NFTs. There are two different types, common and OG NFTs, which are gonna be super rare. You can see here what the art design for the cards looks like. You have HP, level, their name, different attacks, etc. So for the common NFTs in three months following June 30th, a random snapshot will take place to record participants respecting to their Pika holdings. You must have an equivalent or greater amount of Pika compared to how much you bought during the pre-sale. And for the OG NFTs, phase one pre-sale participants are eligible to receive an OG NFT black card and a poster of their NFT signed by the team. To be eligible, there can't be any sales of Pika tokens from the time of claim and for six months following the June 30th snapshot. I've seen a few different people in the Telegram chat about these OG NFTs, and a lot of people are having some pretty bullish price predictions for these. So if you do end up getting your hand on them, they could end up being quite valuable. So if you would like to read more about these, go ahead and check the description box below where I'll leave this medium link. I also will be leaving the link for Pika Moon's own YouTube page. Whether you are a future potential holder or you are currently a holder, their YouTube page is a great source of information for you. On their YouTube page, they have 69 videos thus far. They do behind the scenes, vlogs, podcasts, AMAs. They post their game trailers on here, all kinds of fun updates for the community. So be sure to subscribe to Pika Moon Coin over on YouTube so you can stay up to date on all the latest. If you are looking to get up to date on everything Pika Moon, I would highly recommend this video from five days ago. This was their podcast episode four and I found it extremely informative. It's 50 minutes long and they go over every single aspect about Pika Moon, plans and designs for the future and everything. Aside from Pika Moon's own YouTube channel, they also have hired over 300 different influencers and content creators to spread the word about Pika Moon. They are doing a massive marketing push until the end of the year. And the eventual goal is, of course, to be on the top of the list for GameFi projects. The GameFi sector as a whole has a total market cap of $27 billion and also a daily trading volume of $1.7 billion. So this is a large narrative within the crypto space. There is a lot of money flowing in for top game five projects and the eventual goal is that Pika Moon will be up here with the likes of Sandbox, Decentraland, and Axie Infinity. With that being said, that about wraps it up for this video all about Pika Moon. Please let me know down in the comment section below what your thoughts are about the Pika token and the Pika Moon game. Although I am a fan of this project, please keep in mind as always that this video is not intended to be financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, so always do your own research. Now, if you do want to learn more about Pika Moon, go ahead and head down to the description box below. That's where you can find all the different links. Be sure to join in on their X and Telegram community and I'll see you later.